What is up, Paleans? It's your boy Kovu. We are back for another fishing video, but today we're not actually fishing. I'm giving you guys what I have learned and hopefully tips to help you catch a long nosed unicorn fish. Now, if you missed my stream yesterday, it is still on the channel. Um, I'm also going to combine both streams because we had a little bit of OBS issues and things like that. So it'll be one full video and I'll upload that uh, probably tomorrow, if not later on today. Now, first and foremost, items that I used along the way. One, I had the ex exquisite rod. This is the best rod you can have in a game. You get it after level 10 fishing. Um, I also use trout dinner because it increases minor fishing hook time boost, as you can see. Um, sashimi I did also use minor uh rod health recovery boost and major fishing rod health boost so these are the, the three food items i used were sushi sashimi and trout dinners uh also i use the major safe zone size booster that you can get from inr so i don't know if these items are actually going to help you in game at, at all like as far as like increasing your chances to catch the fish but i'm just letting you know what i use along my journey um yeah, back to the video. What we have learned is that the long nosed unicorn fish drops anywhere between like, I'd say roughly 80 to like 110 fishing pools. When I say fishing pools, I'm talking about these swirly boys down here. I'm talking about these right here. If you're going for a starred long nosed unicorn fish, from what I've been told, catching a starred unicorn fish is probably easier than catching the regular long nosed unicorn fish. Um, and from what I've seen myself as well. So yesterday during our experiment, uh, we were able to see one drop for another player after I cast, I wanna say, I don't remember the number exactly. I wanna say it was I was on cast number 76 or 77 and they saw one drop. They did not catch it, but we saw one drop so from that point we reset the timer reset the count went again and i think within like 10 or so cast the day ended up ending so i added those 10 onto the final number but when it got to day three of our experiment pikazo joined us and we tag team partied the pools now here's the interesting thing it dropped after a total number of 58, including the 10 I'd already cast by myself solo. Uh, me and Pikazo cast in 24 pools together after that. And it dropped for not only one of us, but both of us. As in, Pikazo caught one on the 24th cast, I think she said, either 24, uh, 24th or 21st cast for her. And we were sharing pools. We we're both fishing in the exact same pool. I reset the counter. And in all glorious Paleo fashion, the Paleo gods were smiling down upon me. Or the developers were watching me stream. One of the two. I ended up catching, on the first cast of my reset, a long-nosed unicorn fish. Not only on the first cast, but in the exact same spot that I had lost it previously. So that's what we've learned. If you go at it in a group, it's much easier. So I say get some friends together, get get a partner with you, fish in the same pools, and theoretically speaking, you should see this fish drop anywhere between like 20 and 30 cast. That's what I'm saying. It, at, at most 40, in my personal opinion. No but you should see that fish drop between no anywhere way. between 20 um, to 30 no cast. That's what we saw yesterday. Um, no again, way. this is just a theory for you guys to test out. Oh Hopefully it God. makes this fishing much easier for you. If you're going at it solo, keep in mind, you're not going to see this fish for probably 80 to like 100 or so cast. Like you're not going to see it for a very long time. But if you go at it together in a party, in a group, it actually increases your chance of catching these fish. And that goes the same thing for with the Cernuk and with the Mujin and anything else in this game. Keep in mind, Palea is a community-driven game. So doing things together actually increases your chances of getting things and actually helps you further in the long run. 
with that being said i will digress i will see you guys next time i hope you enjoy um i'll put up the full 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 video uh i might put it up before i put this up actually so i'll see you next time peace Last but not least, because I forgot to say it in the beginning of the video, keep in mind, all of this fishing was done in the same Bahari Bay instance. Now, when I say the same instance, as in I sat in Bahari Bay for like two hours straight, I did not change servers. I didn't leave Bahari and go to Kilima and come back. I stayed in the same Bahari. So... Good luck out there, guys. Good luck, fishermen. I'll see you next time. Peace.